Bull Terrier is being bred in many lines where some will actually become even more bizarre than they are. This turns out to be true. If we look at the appearance of this dog a hundred years ago and now, then we'll notice drastic changes not only in the shape of their head, but also in their body structure. However, even though they've done enough damage, there are still many breeders who try to emphasize even more the shapes of Bull Terrier. The Bull Terrier breed was created for a cruel activity after another cruel activity was banned. So when bull baiting was finally made illegal sometime around 1830, people came up with the horrible idea of fighting dogs with each other because they couldn't fight dogs with bulls anymore. Analyzing the potential and ability of different dogs, the people of that time noticed that they need a dog with great strength but with the abilities and agility in using that strength, so the Bull Terrier came from crossing a strong bulldog with an agile terrier. After many years that this dog was used for dog fighting, this activity was fortunately banned around the 1960s, first in the UK, then in the US and other countries. This decision leaves the Bull Terrier without a job, which remains at the mercy of money-hungry breeders who began to damage it. So in order to sell this breed, they started changing their heads in a way that according to the breeders was attractive. Today, these dogs are bred to be good guard dogs and family dogs, however, they still suffer the consequences from the time when it was tried to sell them at all costs. So because of their head shape, the Bull Terrier suffer from very serious breathing problems, and because of their body shape, they suffer from many bone problems. However, the Bull Terrier isn't the first, nor the last, nor the only one that had the misfortune of becoming the target of overemphasizing specific characteristics. Pugs had the same bad luck and were selectively bred to have a flat face, thus being exposed to many breathing problems and facial disorders. However, dogs aren't the only domesticated animals that have been the target of these ideas. For example, a domestic cat was crossed with a leopard cat in order to create a great pet but with an exotic appearance. As a result, today the Bengal cat suffers from very serious problems. But these kinds of initiatives don't always have a bad purpose. There are breeders who interbreed the most productive cows in order to create an individual or an entire generation of cows that produce more milk. So there are two types of cases, when people have done useful things while overemphasizing characteristics and when they've done terrible harm while doing the same. An example of the latter is the French Bulldog which has been selectively bred to have a flat face since such a shape has been quite popular. Years of breeding with this type of form has influenced that today French Bulldogs are the breed with the most health problems, most of them very serious. So when there's a good goal, then something good is achieved. But when the goal is only the benefit, then the harm has mostly fallen upon the animals. This was all. Till next time, stay cool and see ya!